I should lose you I just couldn't get anywhere Stand beside me Stand beside me You're the only one who ever made me care I can't stand to think that I might be alone Not alone again Oh, not the way it was back then Before you walked into my heart Told me we would never part So stand beside me Don't ever let me be alone again Stand beside me Stand beside me For if I should lose you I just couldn't get anywhere Stand beside me Stand beside me You're the only one who ever made me care When everything goes wrong But darling, I won't care If I know you're standing there No matter what we have to do Together we can see it through So stand beside me And I'll be standing right there Everybody Stand beside me Stand beside me For if I should lose you I just couldn't get any Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to each and every one of you. It's lovely to be here this evening at the Macomb Centre for the Performing Arts. And we're delighted that you're all, all able to be here with us. We hope some of the songs that we sing will be familiar to you. We are going to do some old ones, but we're going to do some new ones as well. But this next song, well, it's vintage. I hear you sing along now. Oh, when I was just a little boy, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Que sera, sera. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart what lies ahead. Will there be rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. Everybody. Que sera, what? Lovely. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. Now I have children of my own. And when they ask me, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? I tell them tenderly. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. Que sera, sera. I told you it was vintage.
But the only side I want to view Is that wonderful picture of you On a streetcar or in the cafe All of the evening and most of the day My mind is in a maze, what can I do? I still see that picture of you It was last summer, I fell in love My heart told me what to do I saw you there on the crest of a hill And I took a little picture of you Then you were gone like a dream in the night With you went my heart, my love and my life I didn't know your name, what could I do? I only had a picture of you Thank you. This next song, ladies and gentlemen, takes us back to 1987. It was our very first number one record back at home in Ireland, a big day, and the song, well, it was an oldie, but we made it new for all of us. It goes something like this. I suppose I ought to say congratulations for you've won the only girl I've ever loved but I hurt too much to face the situation take good care of her Take good care of her Just to be around her was my greatest pleasure She was everything my future held in store So remember when you take my only treasure Take good care of her Take good care of her I must accept it She loves you more than me but only a little bit So with my broken heart I'll bow out gracefully Please don't send me any wedding invitation For I couldn't bear to see her there with you If she's happy, it will be my consolation So take good care Take good care of her Mr. Stephen Miller playing the strings, ladies and gentlemen Lovely Steve I must accept it She loves you more than me 
So with my broken heart I'll bow out gracefully Please don't send me any wedding invitation For I couldn't bear to see her there with you If she's happy, it will be my consolation So take good care of her Take good care of her I still love her Take good care At home once more there was no work to find With a heavy heart I had to make that journey With thoughts of friends and loved ones on my mind I landed in New York and traveled southwards Cause city life was never meant for me I think it must have been God's plan to lead me to a little town called Erin, Tennessee Then I felt I was back in my homeland Far across the sea Oh, I found a little bit of Ireland Way down in Tennessee oh. Soon I met a pretty lady She set my heart a whirl and all could see I wanted her to be my one and only My southern belle from Erin, Tennessee As we walked the hills I told her of my homeland Far across the sea I found love Settled on green rolling pastures It was there that she took my hand And we lived and we loved And we raised our children Far away from my own native land Now I often tell them of my homeland Far across the sea But we much lovely uh, every so often uh, I'm very lucky that songwriters send me songs and this next song the very first time I heard it I knew that it was very special 
and I wanted to record it. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's called Flying with Angels. <laughs> What do you have, friend, in this world below? What kind of treasures do you have to show? If you were called, friend, your record to fail. Would you rest in peace in God's saving grace? Flying with angels, flying with friends, free from temptation, free from all sin. Moving to mansions, waiting up there, flying with angels, a new home to share. found great treasure in Jesus my King He owns my soul death it has no more sting I've got sweet peace friend His call will be great I'll fly with the angels, oh, I just can't wait. Flying with angels, flying with friends, free from temptation, free from all sin. To mansions waiting up there, flying with angels, a new home to share. Flying with angels, a new home to share. She means the world to me She's the cream in my coffee The sugar in my tea She's sweet and she's charming Like a summer's day in June So please won't you help me, Mr. Moon I met her out walking there And then I realized That my heart was taken when I looked into her eyes she smiled and left me floating like a great big birthday balloon. So please, won't you help me, Mr. Moon? Oh, hey, Mr. Moon, won't you shine your light on me? I'm waiting tonight for my baby. It's late and it's dark. She'll be coming home real soon. So please, won't you help me, Mr. Moon? Oh!
My baby likes to laugh She likes to have for fun She likes to leave her hair down When her day is done She likes to sing and dance She's as crazy as a loon So please won't you help me, Mr. Moon I'm meeting her tonight At the place where lovers meet And I'll ask her for her hand And I'll sweep her off her feet Then we'll sit beneath the stars By the lake upon the dune So please won't you help me, Mr. Moon Mr. Moon Oh, hey, Mr. Moon Won't you shine your light on me I'm waiting tonight for my baby It's late and it's dark She'll be coming home real soon So please won't you help me, Mr. Moon Oh, please, won't you help me? Won't you help me, help me, help me? Oh, please, won't you help me, Mr. Moon? Thank you very much. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank you. Now, since I think almost half of you have never been to see us before, I promised I wouldn't do this, but... I think I should tell them about the day that Paddy and... Should I? Johnny went into town. Just, it'll only take me a minute. The rest of you, if you've heard it already, you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> Out the front door, turn to the left, there's a set of bushes on the right-hand side. Okay? Well, just to tell you, Paddy and Johnny, yeah. Paddy went into town one day, and as he was going up the street, didn't he meet uh, uh, Johnny coming down? and. When Johnny saw Paddy, he said to Paddy, he says, what happened to you? Paddy had a, a big black eye. And he says, he says, oh, he says, Johnny, he says, what will I tell you? He says, what happened to me? He says, I was at chapel last Sunday. He says, I was sitting three rows from the back. Mrs. Murphy, she was sitting in front of me. I hope she's not here this evening. <laughs> he says, all was going well till it came time for us to say the Lord's Prayer. And we all stood up. And when Mrs. Murphy stood up, Johnny, she had one of them wee summer dresses on her, you know, it being summertime. And when she stood up, it was kind of <laughs> tucked in, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll bet you're amazed that I do all my own stunts. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's one thing tucking it in, it's another thing keeping it in. Anyway, Paddy says, you know, Johnny, he says, when I saw Mrs. Murphy getting up in her dress tucked in, I thought to myself, well, Mrs. Murphy won't want to go and get communion with her dress tucked in like that. So I reached forward and I pulled it out. And when I pulled it out, she turned and she gave me one. And Johnny said, you won't be doing that again. Oh, he says, no, he says, you better believe it. So that was fine. A couple of weeks passed, and Johnny had to go into town again. And lo and behold, as he was going up the street, if he didn't see Paddy coming, walking towards him. And when he got up close to Paddy, the other eye, it was sitting out here. And Johnny says, what happened to this, Tim Paddy? Oh, he says, what let I tell you? He said, I was at chapel again last Sunday, sitting in the same seat, three rows from the back. Mrs. Murphy she was in her seat in front of me. He says, all went well till it came time for the Lord's Prayer, and we all stood up. And when Mrs. Murphy stood up, Johnny, she had the same summer dress on her, and it was tucked in the very same way. <laughs> and Johnny said, surely you didn't. He says, no. He says, I did not, he said. But he says, Jimmy Doyle, he says, was sitting beside me. And when he saw Mrs. Murphy getting up in her dress tucked in, he reached forward and he pulled it out. And he said, Johnny, he says, I knew from past experience that Mrs. Murphy didn't like it out, so I tucked it back in. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, you thought I'd retired, Mrs. Murphy. You never know when she's going to appear. You know, every, every time I, I tell that, I know how it's going to finish, and I get a kick out of it myself. Can you just picture it? And I have been that soldier. I was at chapel one day, and a woman got up, and it was tucked in, and I wasn't even tempted. Not even tempted. 
We're going to do a song now, ladies and gentlemen. This song is one of our very old Irish ballads. It goes something like this. Last night, as I lay on my pillow, a vision came into my view of a ship sailing over the ocean and the wind so tremendously. On the deck stood a beautiful maiden Whose features I'd ne'er seen before She sobbed for the wrongs of her country As she sailed out from Erin Green shore. My name, it is Ali McManus. My age, it is scarcely eighty. And I thank you. It was then I awoke from my slumber To miss my sweet Eileen of Green It was only the face of my mother With a fond smile stood gazing Now the ship on the ocean has vanished In fancy I see her no more My beautiful Eileen McManus The pride of old Erin my beautiful Eileen McManus, the pride of old Erin's green show. Ladies and gentlemen, my singing partner for almost 26 years, Miss Mary Duff. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. The tears I cried for you could fill a notion, but you don't care how many tears.
and a very good evening everybody it's absolutely wonderful to be here with you hope you're all going to have a great great time with us and i'd love to continue now singing a song which was originally recorded by one of my all-time favorite female country artists the late and great patsy klein Beautiful. I met a girl out in the hills She gave my lonely heart a thrill Her beauty seemed just like a breath of spring And when I looked into her eyes I thought it blew a summer skies When I held her hand in mine I heard a bluebird sing They sang a wondering Wondering if he loved her Will she marry if he'll ask her, will her heart beat, heart beat true for him for then and evermore? And when she's lonely, lonely is he near her? When there's sadness, sadness will he cheer her? Will they always, always be together? Until in death 
they part I courted her for months on end Until she promised we would wait We planned on being married in the spring All through the long cold winter months It seemed like spring would never come And every gloomy winter day I heard the bluebirds sing They sang a waiting Waiting for the flowers Oh, and of counting Counting every hour Till the bluebird the Bluebird chips is welcome Into the world once more And though we're waiting Waiting for the sunshine We keep hating Hating every storm cloud That has gathered Gathered for the mountain To keep us far apart yeah. Spring touched the earth, we married in the village church. Our wedding seemed just like a dream come true. So many years have come and gone, our love is still as true and strong as when I found her long ago. And still, the bluebirds sing this sang of loving, loving every hour. Oh, that I'm married, married to my flower. We'll be happy, happy ever after. Since the day we met, I know. When we grow fonder, fonder of each other, we'll be sweethearts, sweethearts close together, until the end of time. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mary will be back. We're going to do a song this time, ladies and gentlemen. This is a song we have just recorded. And I want to send it out to all of the good people in Cape Breton and Nova Scotia. And as we sing it, as we sing it, we want to remember the great Rita McNeil. mountains feel the salt air I have reasons to behold all the wonders that never cease to be you're as timeless as the water you're as gentle as the fields I caress you Oh, Cape Breton In my dreams And you never let The hard times Take away your soul And you stop the tears from falling as you watched the young ones go you're as peaceful as a clear day you're as rugged as the seas I caress you oh Cape Breton in my dream And home I'll be, home I'll be, vanished thoughts of leaving, home I'll be. I see the blue lakes, feel the passion, I have reasons 
to believe There are places That will bring you to your knees I hear voices They are calling I have reason To pay heed I caress you in my dreams And home I'll be Home I'll be Vanish thoughts of leaving Home Walk tall, walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about me high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up high. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. All through the years that I grew up, Ma taught these things to me. But I was young and foolish then and much too blind to see. I ignored the things she said as if I'd never heard. Now I see and understand the wisdom of her words. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about to be high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up high. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. I started going places where the youngsters shouldn't go. I got to know the kind of girls it's better not to know. I fell in with a bad crowd and laughed and drank with them. Through the laughter, mama's words would echo now and then. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about to be high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up high. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. I got in trouble with the law and I'm in prison now. Through these prison bars I see things so much different now. I have one year left to serve and when my time is done, I'll walk tall and straight and make my proud to call me son. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about to be high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up high. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. Walk tall. Thank you very much. This next song, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, a song that I, I just came to know uh, a number of months ago. I was uh, at a function, and a lady called Mary Darcy got up and, and sang this song. And when she had finished it, I said to her, Mary, that's just beautiful. And she told me the story that her husband, Des, had written it for her. He had a terminal illness. 
And she came in one night after doing a show, and he was there, and he said, Mary, he says, I don't know if I'm going to make our anniversary, so I wrote you this song. May I say thanks for the years gone by And all that you've been to me Today is our day, let's relive the past It's our anniversary I still remember the vows we made That our love would always be With God's help it's been And it stayed that way It's our anniversary We've had our good times, we've had our bad times, we've had our ups and downs. I never worried when skies fell on me. You were always around. The greatest gift in the world you gave Gave to me so willingly So bless you and keep you through years to come It's our anniversary The greatest gift in the world you gave, gave to me so willingly. So bless you and keep you through years to come. I love you, please always love me. It's our anniversary. Thank you. Isn't that a beautiful song? Thank you very much. The sun's in the sky. And you're by my side These are perfect days The wind blows your hair No worries or no cares Yes, these are perfect days Nothing might happen Right out of the blue No words can tell you how I love you But the sun's in the sky And you're by my side These are perfect days We lie by the fire Crack open the wine These 
our perfect day I'll wake at the dawn with you in my arms Yes, these are perfect days Nothing might happen right out of the blue No words can tell you how much I love you but the sun's in the sky And you're by my side These are perfect days These are perfect days Yes, these our perfect days perfect days with your smiling face perfect days in our own special place as we walk hand in hand we both understand these are perfect days yes these our perfect day thank you thank you very much are you all okay down there everybody okay i want to tell you a wee story about uh, a couple of men that lived beside us at home and uh, there were two brothers you know and they lived kind of out behind the hill, way out from the hub of activity. And uh, they were very happy living out there. They weren't bothered by the modern way of life. They had no television or no telephone and certainly didn't know what computers were all about, but they were real contented. And one day, the mailman came and uh, he had with him, uh, you know them catalogs that you get in the mail sometimes, whether you want them or not? and. Um, this one had uh, sold all women's clothes. Do you get them here in the mail? Yeah, sometimes. Well, they were going out to all the houses at home, and, and the two boys, they got one, two in the mail. So Paddy was there when, when the mailman left the package, and he opened it up, and he was looking through it, and he had never seen anything like this before. And just as he had opened and looked at a few pages, Mick, his brother, came uh, walking in the door, and, Paddy says, Mick, he says, come over here quick, he says. There's a book after coming in in the mail, he says, and there's women for sale in it. <laughs> so Mick went over right away and he took the book. Well, he couldn't believe what he was seeing. He says to Paddy, he says, we'll buy two of them, Paddy. <laughs> and Paddy says, no, he says, we'll only buy the one. You never know, she might be hard to get along with. We'll get one, and then if we get on well with the one, we can always send away for a second one. So the two, two of them did nothing, only sat down at the kitchen table, and they started looking through the book, you know, to see which one would they send away for. So they were going through and going through page after page, and the two of them just stopped on this particular page where this picture was. They knew this was the girl for them. They didn't need to look at another one. So anyway, as best they could, their education wasn't terrific, but as best they could, they went to the back of the book and they found the form that you fill in, you know, to send away for whatever you want. So they got the form and they filled in, as I said, the best way they knew how, and they just said they wanted just the one on whatever page she was on, that was the one they wanted, just her. So anyway, they put in the 1999 or whatever she was going to cost, you know, and um, uh, they sent off the envelope, and boy, they were so excited. I couldn't begin to tell you the excitement they had. But anyway, you know, they were very innocent, I suppose, these two guys. Uh, but even though they lived far away out from, from the town, their house was was never empty. There were always people visiting because they always had fun. And sometimes the young people used to visit them and they would tell them things that weren't, wasn't th true and, you know, just tell them lies. Not vindictively, but just to get fun out of the two brothers. So uh, a group of young lads arrived that evening and the two boys, they made the mistake 
of telling these young fellows about the book they got and about the women for sale and that they sent away for this particular one. Well, the young lads didn't make them a bit the wiser. They just kept them going about this woman they were going to get and all the excitement and everything. So anyway, about a month after uh, the envelope was mailed off, Paddy was in the town and he met one of the young guys. He was a kind of a smart filly, you know, that uh, was there and, and knew all about the woman. And he said to Paddy, he says, Paddy, he says, is there any sign, he said, of that woman coming that you sent away for. Oh, Paddy says, she'll be here any day now, he says. Her clothes came yesterday. <laughs> oh, boy, can you just imagine it? Oh, there they were. Can you just see them looking at the clothes to see what shape she was going to be? Oh, it'll be wonderful. There we are. Oh, that's great. Oh, dear. I'll have another wee seat here. <laughs> this next song, ladies and gentlemen, that we're going to do, we recorded a few years ago. It became the title track of our album for that year. It's called Moon Over Ireland. There's a moon over Ireland Comes in from the sea Across the mountains and valleys Where the rivers run free From the days of my childhood Oh, I've always known There's a moon over that shines on my home Go down the one road From Cork to Killarney And follow it on to Trilly And you won't be tongue-tied When you kiss Blarney, there's no fairer place you can be. I love you, Galway, Limerick, and Derry, Sligo, and Monaghan, Mayo, and Clare. They say. A long, long way to Tipperary, but that doesn't matter to me. I miss the Shannon, the hills of Roscommon, the green fields in my memory. And I want to tell all my friends and my family in Donegal I'm coming home. I love you, Galway, Limerick, and Derry, Sly. a long, long way to Tipperary, but that doesn't matter to me. There's a moon over Ireland, comes in from the sea, across the mountains and valleys, where the Shines on my home. 
There's a moon over Ireland that shines on my home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome back one more time the lovely Miss Mary Duff. Thank you, Mary. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden along with the sunshine. It's a 
a beautiful day. When you say, 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 say that you love me, oh, oh my, 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 what a beautiful day. Everybody now, oh, let's see those hands clap. Where it began, I can't begin to know one, but then I know it's a growing strong. Twas in the spring, then spring became the summer. Who'd have believed you'd come along? Everybody now. Hands, everybody, a touching hand, a reaching out, a touching me, a touching you. To believe they never would Sweet Caroline I met her on a Monday and my heart stood still da do run 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 da do run run Somebody
Thank you very much. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you're probably saying to yourselves, boy, have they aged so much since their last special that they have to sit down halfway through the show. Well, maybe there's a little bit of truth in that. There have been some significant birthdays in the not too distant past. John had one, and I had one, and Leon had one, but yes, uh, we don't talk about Leon's significance, but I will tell you, Leon, I think you look even better than you did when you were in your 50s. <laughs> now, the reason that we're all sitting down here, ladies and gentlemen, we have spent uh, a lot of years together, all of us. Nigel on the drums is the most recent member to join the band. He's been with us for just over four years, and we're glad to have him. But all of the rest of us, we have been singing, traveling, and uh, recording together since 1988. Uh, a long, long time. And we have been very, very lucky to enjoy so much success. And every year, uh, usually when we're in Branson, Missouri, we go there every year uh, in November, we all gather together in one of the apartments that we stay in, and we have a good old party and uh, we sing songs, get one another to sing songs, play music, tell stories, and we have a, a really good night together. And at these parties, I say every time, you know, I think the people that come to our shows would love to be at one of our parties. So tonight we decided we'd have the party right here, and you're all invited. <laughs> We're going to uh, continue with a song now that uh, we recorded just a couple of years ago. I don't know why it took me so long to record this song because we think it's just beautiful. And we know that you will too. The gable wall is all that's left now. The old thatch cottage has fallen down I dry my eyes as I fondly remember the days of long ago when I was young in my father's house we were poor but rich in love no TV, but music there was plenty of. My mama hummed old melodies, and we all sang along. In my father's house, when I was young, you know, folks, we have a lot of great songwriters in Ireland, but there's none better than the writer of this very song that we're singing. And we're delighted that he's right here on stage with us. Mr. Kevin Sheeran, ladies and gentlemen. Take it away, Kevin. Just the way you wrote it. The years have passed And times are changing the rambling house has almost gone. Lovely, Kevin. But still I hear the laughter of children 
just like long ago when I was young. In my father's house, we were poor but rich in love. No TV, but good times there were plenty of. We made the best of what we had, and we sang a happy song. In my father's house, when I was young, in my father's house, when I he was young. Lovely, Kevin. Oh, that's lovely. Obviously, that song is written about uh, Kevin's home and his growing up years. When did you write it, Kevin? In 1987. 87. Kevin's family, all his brothers, sisters, nieces and nephews, they all sing and, and play music. To be in the presence of the Sheerans is something to behold. And we're delighted, Kevin, that you're part of our group. Kevin Sheeran. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Mary, will you do us the honor of singing oh, one of, of our favorites? I love this one. I just love it. How are you doing, Grandad? Are you ready, Grandad? Come on, it's your turn. Sometimes he forgets nowadays, you know. This is 
when you don't know the words of the party. La, 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 everybody. Sunday, we'll meet again, my love. Sunday, whenever the spring breaks through, till then, my sweet. Come on down here, Nigel. Nigel with uh, Leon and Trina do all of our backing vocals, and we are lucky to enjoy them many times at our parties, and we want them to go out front and sing one of our favorites right now. I'm gonna go over here to get a good look at them. Mary, you can go that way if you like. <laughs> so How good is that, folks? 
And how lucky are we to have such talent with us? Well done. John and myself, we have known one another for a long time. The very first record I made back in 1983, John was in the studio band that right. backed me up, and we've been friends ever since. And sometimes, as well as traveling the world as you see us here tonight, back at home, John and I, we go out just the two of ourselves every so often, and we do, well, we call it nixers. I don't know what you call it here. You know when you, you do something and you get paid, but you don't declare the money? Well, sometimes we do that. A few, few nights ago, somebody shouted up, that's called illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but every so often, John and I, we go out and we do, we do shows for charity. And uh, we sing songs just like this one. Are we ready, John? I think so. OK. Here we go. Oh, Lord, it's so hard to be humble. When you're perfect in every way I can't wait to look in the mirror Cause I get better looking each day To know me is to love me I must be a hell of a man Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble but I'm doing the best that I can I used to have a girlfriend That's right. But I guess she just couldn't compete With all of those love-hungry women Who keep crawling around at my feet Some folks say that I'm egotistical Can you spell that, John? I don't even know what that means Oh, I don't know I don't. But I guess it has something To do with the way that I fill out My skin-tight blue jeans Oh, Lord, it's so hard to be humble When you're perfect in every way I can't wait to look in Cause I get better looking each day To know me is to love me I must be a hell of a man Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble But I'm doing the best that I can Oh Lord, it's so hard to be humble But we're doing the best that we can. Good job, John. Oh, what do you like? <laughs> he never misses a, an opportunity. Good on you, Ron. Stephen over here is our band leader, and he does all of our arrangements on the road. We're really proud of him. Stephen Miller. Thank you, Steve. Stephen is... He's not really at the party. He has too much stuff to take over here. He's kind of, you know, but never mind, Steve. Whenever the buffet comes, we'll throw you some chicken legs. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you all OK? Yeah. I wonder would you ever have heard, actually, you wouldn't have heard because it happened at home about the young couple that moved to the country. Did you hear about them? Well, they were born in the city, these two, and they got married and uh, they wanted to move to the country and buy a farm. That was their greatest wish. And they gathered up enough money to, to buy a, a farm. It wasn't a very big one, you know, but big enough to get started. And boy, they were so happy. But when they had everything paid for, there was very little left, you know, to, to stock the farm. In fact, they had hardly any money left, but they had enough just to buy a pig. They bought an old sow. And uh, I suppose I don't need to tell you the sow is no good on her own. She needs company to, to make things happen. But they just didn't have the money to buy the boar. They had to just, you know, do with the sow. And uh, on talking to some of the neighbors, the young guy, he learned that there was a, a very established farmer that lived about a mile away. And he had lots of animals and he had a boar and he was a real nice man. And that maybe if he went and spoke to this farmer that they could arrange a meeting, you know. 
So anyway, he went one day and he, he got chatting to this man and he was a really nice gentleman. And uh, when the young fella told him his, you know, predicament, he said, son, he says, don't you worry about a thing. He says, you just bring your sow down here on Monday morning and we'll sort everything out. So boy, the young guy, he was just thrilled. So he could hardly wait for the weekend to be over. And he got up early Monday morning and he got organized and he went out and he, he got the sow out and... He was looking at her, you know, and he thought, you know, a mile was a long ways for her to walk. You know, I did, you know, she was old, but she was willing. <laughs> but he knew the mile would be too much, so he didn't have any tractor or anything, any kind of, you know, uh, uh, equipment like that. But he remembered that he saw when he was looking through the old barn that there was a wheelbarrow in there. So we went and he got the wheelbarrow and he got it out and dusted it off and he put the sow in the wheelbarrow and off he went pushing her down the road in the wheelbarrow down till he got to the farm. And the farmer was waiting on him when he arrived through to his word and they got the sow out and put her in along with the boar and the older man said, now, son, he says, we'll leave her there all day. You come back about five o'clock this evening and we'll see how things progress, you know. So anyway, the young boy went away and he came back about five and um, the older man said, now, son, he says, when you get up tomorrow morning, he said, and, and you see her in, in, in the yard, he says, if she's got everything dug up around her and she's all busy and agitated, then everything's good. The job is a good job, but... If she's just lying like this, not paying attention to anything, you're going to have to bring her back tomorrow again. So the young fella got the sow back into the wheelbarrow and off he went up the road. And boy, it was heavy coming down in the morning, but she was twice as heavy on the way back, I'll tell you. It was getting heavier, but he got her back anyway and went away to bed that night. And boy, he was so excited, he could hardly wait to get up in the morning. He got up and he went over to the window and he pulled back the drapes and looked out to see what she was doing there. She was just lying like this, not a bit of movement. Well, he had nothing to do, only go down and get the wheelbarrow out and put her into the wheelbarrow. And off he went down. Well, I better go the right direction. I was going. It'd be terrible to go a mile that way and have to push her back again. So off he went anyway, down the road. Boy, it was tough pushing her, but anyway, the farmer saw him coming and he got out and he was ready and he knew that there was more work to be done. So they got the sow out and, and along with the boar again another time and he said, son, same thing, we leave her there all day, you come back about five. So the young guy came back at five and the older man said, now, son, he says, I'm afraid it's the same thing. He says, tomorrow when you get up, if she's all busy, you don't have to bring her back no more and everything's dug up, but if she's just... Just lying there doing nothing, you'll have to bring her back again. So young fella put the sow into the wheelbarrow and off he went again, back up. And boy, he was getting so tired. But anyway, it was worth it, he thought. And got up the next morning over to the window, looked at there, she was just lying like this, no move. So every day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it was the same story. Down the road in the wheelbarrow, up in the morning, look out and there she was, lying, no move. So come Saturday, boy, the young guy, he was just about dead from pushing this sow up and down the road all week. And he just couldn't get out of bed. So his wife got up and he said, honey, he said, would you ever go to the window? He says, and look out to see what she's doing today. So the wife went over to the window and she pulled back the drapes and she says, oh, my goodness. And he said, has she got everything dug up? No, his wife said, she's sitting in the wheelbarrow. I knew what it was all about, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd say, I'd say the boar was glad to hear the wheelbarrow coming every day. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, dear. Are you ready with your bow, Ron, there? Come on, Ronnie and, and Kevin, play us a wee tune. Let us go there. Oh!
Thank you, Mary. Good job. Now, we have uh, a lot of requests, but because we're doing all the filming tonight, uh, we decided not to do any dedications. But I did notice that a lady called Helen, and I hope I'm going to say her uh, last name right, Boscovich. Is there somebody by that name here? Helen? Helen is celebrating her 90th birthday with us. How are you doing, Helen? Hi, everybody. Okay. Don't you be tempted to touch anything that doesn't belong to you now. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh Boy, you look good. I know you do. It's lovely to see you. How are you? Pardon? How are you doing? Good. I'm doing wonderful. Boy, you look so good. My word, I can't believe you couldn't be 90, are you? My word. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And many more birthdays. Good. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Hello. There we are. Oh, boy, I didn't see the stairs. I could have walked down. I didn't need to jump. Oh, boy. Yes, I was Irish. I had to learn the second time to be sure, to be sure. There we are. Oh, good. Mary. Will we do one of our favorites? Mm -hmm. Together again My tears have stopped falling The long, lonely nights Are now The key to my heart You hold in your hand And nothing else matters now Cause we're together again Together again The gray skies are gone You're back in my arms Now where you belong The love that we knew Is living again Nothing else matters now Cause we're together again Miss Dump, may I have the pleasure Together again My tears have stopped falling The long, lonely nights Are now at an end The love Nothing else matters now Cause we're together again No, nothing else matters now Cause we're together again
Thank you, babe. Oh, lovely. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. All good things must end. Like to hear. Thought our love would never end Cause we fell hard when we first started Falling out like we fell in Let's go out in a blaze of glory All good things must end I like to hear hurt each other that could be our worst mistake but once again let's act like lovers one more time for all time's sake let's go out in a blaze of glory all good things must end like to hear talented people. Thank you very much. Are we all okay? How'd you enjoy the party? Some of you are probably saying to yourselves, boy, that was a very dry party. <laughs> well, it wasn't a real Irish party here because I watch them leaving if it's in our apartment sometimes and this is how they walk just in case they would spill anything, you know. <laughs> oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, you know, down through the years, we have recorded so many wonderful, uh, tried and tested songs. And this one takes us back to, well, a movie many years ago. See if you remember. <laughs> your eye like a bigger pizza pie that's amore when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine that bells will ring ting-a-ling-a-ling ting-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling, and you'll sing the bella Hearts will play tippy tippy tay tippy tippy tay like a guitar and Della. When the stars make you drool, just like pasta fazool, that's amore. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. Oh, when you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, Signore. Scusi me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's amore. Everybody sing this time. Oh, when the moon hits. 
catch your eye like a bigger pizza pie that that's a long way when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine that's that's a long way bells will ring ting-a-ling-a-ling ting-a-ling-a-ling and you'll sing with the bell Hearts will play tippy tippy tay tippy tippy tay like the gay tarantella. Lucky fella. Oh, when the stars make you drool, just like pasta fazool, that's that's a moment. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. Oh, when you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, Signore. Excuse me, but you see, that can old Napoli, that's Amore. Amore. That's Amore. Thank you very much. Isn't that a great old song? You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going back to doing a song now that I know you will never have heard. Back at home in the past few years, there have been a, a group of wonderful young singers uh, started out in the music business. And one of them is a terrific songwriter. His name is Derek Ryan. And you know Derek, do you? And he very kindly gave me a couple of his songs to record. And this is one of them that I think you will enjoy. It's called God's Plan. <laughs> To meet someone special Like they're sent from above To have and to hold Together growing old To love for the rest of our lives It's all hard of God's plan my love you are my woman and I am your man it's all part of God's plan my love joining our hearts till death do God's plan I knew when I met you you would be my wife I felt like I'd known you every day of my life your blue eyes so right to my wonder soul and guided me all the way home it was all part of God's plan my love you are my woman and I Joining our hearts Till death do us part Living forever God's plan One more time on those strings, Mr. Stephen Murphy. Thank you, Stephen. We'll weather the storm.
stars in each other's arms living forever God's plan Thank you Very good Ronnie have you got your accordion Are you ready Any Elvis fans here tonight Can't you see I love you Please don't break my heart in two That's not hard to do Cause I don't have a wooden heart And if you say goodbye I know that I would cry Maybe I would die Cause I don't have a wooden heart There's no strings upon this love of mine It was always you from the start Treat me nice, treat me good Treat me like you really should Cause I'm not made of wood And I don't have a wooden heart Musedem, musedem Zoom These are European steps. Museden, museden, zoom stete leden aus, stete leden aus, und du mein Schatz bleibst still. There's no strings upon this love of mine. It was always you from the start. Treat me nice, treat me good, treat me like you really should Cause I'm not made of wood and I don't have a wood Will we sing a bit in Irish, are you ready? La la la, la la la, la 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 I'll do the difficult part La 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 la, la 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 Boy, you're good at the Irish Upon this love of mine It was always you from the start Treat me nice, treat me good Treat me like you really should Cause I'm not made of wood And I don't have a wood in Did you hear about the time? Did I tell them already about the time Patty and Mary went out for the night? Did I tell you already tonight? No. Did you hear about the time they went out? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you all right still upstairs? Yeah. Well, Patty and Mary, the two of them were going out for a night. And uh, I don't know, was it a regular occurrence or just a one-off deal? But anyway, it was time for them to get ready and they went away upstairs to the bedroom to get organized. And Mary, she went into the shower and she was getting all spruced up. And when she was finished her shower, she shouted out to Paddy. He was in the bedroom. She says, Paddy, she says, will you close them blinds? She says, before I come out, she said, I don't want the neighbors to see me. And Paddy shouted back. He says, oh, he says, come on out. He says, if the neighbors see you, they'll close their own blinds. <laughs> I needn't tell you. I needn't tell you his funeral was three days later. We're going to do a song now, ladies and gentlemen. There have been many, many big hits uh, musically in Ireland, but this song, whether you know it or not, it is the biggest hit that Ireland has ever known. <laughs> By 
a lonely prison wall I heard a young girl calling Michael they have taken you away for you stole Trevelyan's car so the young might see the morn now a prison ship lies waiting in the bay The small free birds fly Our love was on the wing We had dreams and songs to sing It's so lonely round the fields of Athenry By a lonely prison wall I heard a young man calling Nothing matters, Mary, when you're free Against the famine and the crown I rebelled, they cut me down now you must raise our child with dignity. Low lie the fields of Athenry, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our Songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Athenry. By a lonely harbor wall, she watched. The last star falling As the prison ship Sailed out against the sky But she live and hope And pray For her love In Botany Bay It's so lonely Round the fields of Athenry. Low the fields of Athenry, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our dreams and songs to sing It's so lonely round the fields of Athenry It's so lonely round the fields of Athenry Thank you. Will you welcome back one more time, Miss Mary Duff, everybody? Left the 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Mary. Lovely. Oh, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, this next song brings me back to uh, nights in uh, the Viking House Hotel and an old man called John Rosie and a lady called Mary Charlie. Both are gone to their eternal reward, but they sang this song, and this is where I learned it. South of the border, down Mexico way That's where I fell in love when stars above came out to play And now as I wander, my thoughts ever stray South of the border down Mexico way She was a picture In old Spanish lace Just for a tender while I kissed the smile Upon her face For it was fiesta And we were so gay South of the border, down a Mexico way. Then she sighed as she whispered, Manana, never dreaming that we were parting. And I lied as I whispered, Manana, for our tomorrow never came. South of the border, I rode back one day There in a veil of white By candlelight She knelt to pray The mission bells told me That I mustn't stay South of the border Down Mexico way Everybody I, 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 I I, 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 I I, 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 Oh, you remember that one? Well, if you remember that one, I think you might remember this one. It'll take you back to maybe that prom night, maybe a pink carnation or even 
a white sport coat. A white sport coat and a pink carnation. I'm all dressed up for the dance. A white sport coat and a pink carnation. I'm in the mood for She told me long ago To the prom with me you'd go Now you've changed your mind it seems Someone else will hold my dreams A white sport coat And a pink carnation I'm in a blue, blue Want to hear everybody sing with me this time? A white sport coat and a pink. I'm all dressed up for the dance. And again. A white sport coat and a pink car. She told me long ago To the prom with me you'd go Now you've changed your mind it seems Someone else will hold my dreams A white sport coat And a pink carnation I'm in a blue This was a big hit for us back at home in 1992. I don't want to be the one who hesitates. Be too shy, wait too late. I don't care what they say other lovers do. I just want to dance with you. Well, I've got a feeling that you got a heart like mine. So let it show. If we get a chance to make one heart of two I just want to dance with you I want to dance with you Twirl you all around the floor That's what they invented dancing for I just want to dance with you I want to dance with you Hold you in my arms once more that's what they invented dancing for I just want to dance with you These are Spanish steps Caught you looking at me when I looked at you Yes, I did, you know that's true You don't get embarrassed by the things I do I just want to dance with you Now the boys are playing softly and the girls are too So am I, oh, and so are you If this was the movies, we'd be right on cue I just want to hear everybody sing this time I want to twirl you all around the floor That's what they invented dancing for I just want to dance, oh, dancing with the stars Here I come I want to dance with you Hold you in my arms once more 
That's what they invented, dance folk. I just want to dance with you. Oh, I just want to dance with you. That was a pirouette. Thank you for a wonderful evening. Did you have a good time? Well, we want to thank everybody here at the Macomb Centre for Performing Arts for giving us the opportunity to come and meet you. We'd like to thank all of the people behind the scenes. Would you give them a great big round of applause? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for making this such a wonderful evening. Thank you for always being there. For the past 30 years, I have asked people all over the world if they would do something for me. But I'm going to ask you just one more time. Stand beside me, stand beside me. For if I should lose you, I just couldn't get anywhere. Stand beside me, stand beside me. You're the only one who ever made me care There'll be times when everything goes wrong But darling, I won't care If I know you're standing there No matter what we have to do Together we can see it through So stand beside me And I'll be standing right there Everybody, stand beside me Stand beside me For if I should lose you I just couldn't get anywhere Stand beside me Stand beside me You're the only one Who ever made me care Yes, you're the only one Who ever made me care Thank you, good night, everybody
by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down. Yeah, we wept when we remember Zion. Up by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down. Thank you. We're going to leave you as we almost always do by leaving the final word to the one who is most important of all. Oh Lord my God when I in all some wonder consider all the works thy hands have made I see the stars and I hear the roaring Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great Shall come.
come with shout of acclamation to take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God how great thou art then sings my soul how great thou art oh how great thou Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for the lovely Miss Mary Duff, everybody. Mary Duff. Thank you, Mary. Oh, Mary, I hope we make another 26 years together. Mary Duff. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, here in the theater, and all of you at home. Good night. God bless. Until we see you, take care. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the star of our show, the one, the only, Mr. Daniel O'Donnell.